Yo, what's up guys? Cobes here from PFT. Uh, the last couple of weeks I've been bringing you guys training sessions, focusing on strength, stability, skill development, speed, power, uh, using one piece of equipment or no equipment. Uh, so week one was kettlebell, week two was body weight, week three was bands. This week, we're using glide boards, okay? You can also use furniture sliders. So when I was in Australia, I bought a set of furniture sliders from Bunnings. Okay, basically does the same thing, exactly the same. Today is a strength and stability based workout using these. Uh, Wednesday is going to be a muscular endurance session and then Friday is gonna be a conditioning session. Anybody who's trained with me at Tiger as a client or who's been following me knows that I like to keep things really simple, okay? Simple doesn't mean easy though. Today I had four categories. I had a lower body category, upper body push, upper body pull, and core, okay, each one of those categories, I had two exercises. First exercise was all about dynamic work. So we're going through our fullest range of movement that we're capable of under tension with control. We're looking at three to five sets of six to 12 reps. Today, I did four sets of 10 with one minute rest in between sets. Okay, for the second exercise, we're looking at isometrics. Isometrics are essentially a bracing force. We want to squeeze the muscles, create as much tension as we can. Today, I lock the joint in three different positions. So I hit an isometric in three different positions. I'll explain that as we go. For that one, I was looking at roughly 20 to 40 seconds. I did uh, three sets of 30 seconds, where I squeezed the fuck out of those muscles as hard as I could. All right, and I had roughly 30 seconds up to a minute break, depending on what the exercise was. Obviously the heart of the exercise was, today I did handstands. All right, so that's obviously a difficult exercise. I increased my rest period to a minute. All right, for the easier exercises, like the wall sit, for example, I did 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. All right, let's have a look at how today's session is gonna work. So these glide boards or furniture sliders are really good on carpet. I don't have carpet, I've got hardwood floors. So what I've got is I've just laid a towel down so that it allows these boards to slide. If you don't have a set of glide boards or furniture sliders, you can also use a tea towel or a doormat or something like that. Okay. You might need to get a little bit creative here and find something that's gonna allow you to go through these movements or their variations. Let's have a look. My first exercise is my lower body pull. I'm focusing on hips and hamstrings. I'm looking at a glide board drag curl. I'll give a couple of different options here as it is a difficult exercise. So I'm down on my back. First thing I'm going to do is pull my belly button down towards my spine, flatten my back out. Now my abs are on from here. I'm going to drag my heels in as I raise my hips high. So hamstrings and glutes working as hip extensors and knee flexors. Abs stay on. What I don't want to do is arch through the back. Keep the abs nice and tight. Tailbone tucked under. Nice and slow out. I'm not going all the way to the bottom. Maintain tension. Pull back in. Fire. 10, sec 10 reps here. All right, difficult exercise. If you can't do that, drag in, press up, create engagement, focus on eccentrics. Rest at the bottom, drag, press, lower. All right, if you don't have glide boards, then you can use a mat. And the other option is just glute bridges. So again, belly button in, tailbone under, drive those hips high, squeeze, pull the heels towards the shoulders. Maintain tension, squeeze. So those are your lower body pull options. Next up, I'm going good old wall sit. Okay, I'm gonna get my thighs just above parallel to the ground. From here, feet hip width, then I'm gonna drive my feet away from me, boom, push my back into the wall. Watch this, quads off, quads on, hold. 10 seconds here, squeezing as hard as I can. At the 10 second mark, I drop down to parallel. Boom, push the feet against the, against the away from the wall, drive my back into the wall, squeeze, 10 seconds. 
20 second mark, drop down. Repeat. Push as hard as you can, trying to push that wall over. 10 seconds, each position, wall sit. 30 seconds rest, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. Next up, I'm focusing on upper body push mechanics. So all those muscles in upper body in the front of the body. First exercise, dynamic movement. We're looking at a push-up variation. Second exercise, all about isometrics. Boom, three different joint angles. Looking at roughly 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest, three times through. Push up. My left arm is going out in front, staying straight. Shoulder comes down, right shoulder to right wrist. Arm goes out in front. Four. Looking to maintain tension through the entire body here. Straight line from shoulders through to ankles. Then switch sides. I'll do five on one side, five on the other. So there was my first option. Second option, if you have it, one arm's going to stay straight, other arm's going to pop out to the side. Like so. All right, you can also do one at a time. Five on one side, five on the other. Or you can just go through normal push-ups there. Okay, focusing on straight line from shoulders right through to ankles. Create tension and move slow. If you can do more than 12 reps, slow it down. Okay, it's not a race. You don't have to get through them as fast as possible. The goal is to make those 10 reps feel really difficult. The upper body static base work, isometrics, uh, today I did a handstand, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. If you don't have a handstand, then you're just going to hit some either dip holds or push-up holds, okay? I'll demonstrate both of those. So the dip holds will be done like so. I want to think about my posture, squeeze my arms in. 10 seconds here, 10 seconds here, 10 seconds here. Again, the goal is create tension. We also have push-up isometrics. Just gonna hold here, squeeze. Halfway down, squeeze, 10 seconds. All the way down, just above the ground, squeeze. 10 seconds. My upper body push isometrics was a handstand. Okay, uh, I was working roughly 20 to 30 seconds here. Uh, I was holding five to 10 seconds. Bottom position, head just off the ground then five to 10 seconds, halfway up, then five to 10 seconds, top position. So I'm gonna start the hardest position here. Five to 10 seconds, five to 10 seconds, five to 10 seconds. All right, choose an appropriate variation for you that's gonna allow you to get that tension control in the muscles. My next exercise, upper body pull. So I'm firing all those muscles through the entire back. All right, I did black burns for my dynamic movement. Then my uh, static movement was a static hold. Let's have a look at those two movements. First exercise, black burns. And down on the ground. My feet stay down here. I see a lot of people kicking their legs up. Okay, upper body, back movement, all right. What I'm going to do, arms overhead, arms in front, thumbs up, I'm going to raise my chest off the ground, squeeze through my back. From here, my hands go wide. I rotate the, through the shoulders, thumbs go forward, thumbs go in, creating tension, squeezing through the back, pretend ah, there's an egg between your shoulder blades and you want to keep that egg there. Another option there is YWs. So I'm gonna start in that Y position and I'm going to pull my elbows down and back, squeeze my shoulder blades, thumbs in, then extend, arms overhead, thumbs up, thumbs in. With that one there, I'm thinking about replicating a pull up 
or a pull down. Squeezing those elbows back, sorry, squeezing those shoulder blades back, elbows down. Create tension through the entire back. My next exercise is my static hold. If you've got a pull up bar, feel free to use a pull up bar. You can also use a towel, a TRX, tree branch, a railing, doesn't really matter. Okay, what we want to do is replicate an overhead position if we can. If we can't, use a towel wrapped around a railing. Boom, active hold. So what I'm using here is the railing. I'm going to get down in position. My arms go as wide as I can. Then I'm going to pull myself up. Elbows down and back, shoulder blades together. Squeeze here, 10 seconds. Halfway down, 10 seconds. All the way down, 10 seconds. I want to remain active in that position. Squeeze the fuck out of those muscles in all three joint angles. And my last category are my core based exercises. So my first movement is my dynamic movement. I'm looking at my high plank pike. So the goal here is to get your hands and your feet as far away from each other as you can whilst maintaining tension through the midline. So when I, when I see people do this, I typically see people sagging through the back. Okay, losing that tension, losing that connection. I want to remain in this position. It's not about how far you go, it's more about the tension that you can create and choosing the appropriate distance and the appropriate variation that's gonna allow you to hit that movement without sacrificing quality. All right, let's have a look. So option one is what I did. High plank position, tailbone's tucked under. From here, I'm gonna scoop my feet back away from my hands, maintaining tension. Then pause, and I'm gonna pull my hands and my feet together as high as I can. Back down through push-up position. Then, hands and feet apart, maintain tension, pull. Now watch this one. If I go too far, and I try and pull in, and I lose my back. All right, that's a shitty variation. I'm losing my quality, I'm losing my tension, okay. More about quality work, not how far you can go. Leave the ego at the door. Second exercise. We're in the plank position on the elbows this time. From here, now, same thing. However, I'm not going into a pike position. I'm just increasing that distance. Elbows and feet, and then pulling back in. Core does the work. Next option is a rollout. Similar principles, but this time my hands are on the glide boards. So first thing I do is hips come forward. What I don't want to do is this. That's not doing shit. Okay, hips come forward first, then I go as far as I can. Again, choose an appropriate variation that's going to allow you to get as far as you can whilst maintaining tension and high quality work. Next option is simply high plank position, pull in, knees come to the chest nice and slow out. When I'm in this position, I'm thinking about Firing my abs as hard as I can. Okay, it's not my hip flexors doing the work. I'm gonna tuck my tailbone under, get my abs on. Next, I'm gonna move into my static movement, which is a side plank. Okay, super simple, doesn't mean easy though. Side plank position, elbow stacked underneath the shoulder. My feet are on top of each other. I can have one in front of the other if I want to add a little bit more stability. Okay, from here, come up, side plank position, create tension, tailbone comes forward, glutes on, abs on, now, squeeze, then slide, my feet maintain tension, I'm gonna pull my elbow and my heel towards each other. All right guys, that was my strength and stability based session, eight exercises, all right, it took me roughly 40 minutes to get through that. On Wednesday, I'm gonna be going through a muscular endurance based session using the glide boards. Then on Friday, we're looking at a conditioning based session. Let's get it.